What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab, and today I want to talk about 3D touch versus long press on the iPhone. So I see a lot of confusion here on the channel in the comments with these features like what you do to make it work, like are you, I'm pressing hard and it's not working, or I'm, I'm holding down and it's not working, and there's just generally a lot of confusion with what it is and what it means. So hopefully I can clear that up a little bit. 3D touch is when you're pressing into the screen. Like you're pressing deeper and you're going to dive into a deeper piece of content. A long press is simply just holding down on the screen and then some other action occurs. So first let's jump back to the home screen and I'll show you an example of this. A long press would look like this. I'm just gonna hold down my finger on the Instagram icon. I'm not gonna press into the screen, just hold down. And then they all start to wiggle and it gives me the ability to delete one. And I can move them around or rearrange them. It's all relatively on the same level or the same layer. So I'm gonna hit the home button to cancel this. And now I'm going to 3D press the Instagram icon or press into it. And you can see that it gives me these options. So it's, it's giving me a deeper dive. I can dive straight to the camera. It's, it's going to a new layer, a more detailed screen. I can go to the camera. I can do a new post, new activity, or switch my account. I can dive straight to a deeper piece of content. I'm just going to tap somewhere on the screen to cancel that. And then I'm gonna go into Instagram. So I hope that example explains it a little bit. Now I'm gonna show you some examples of how they are used within Instagram. So if we swipe over and then we go to the search icon on the bottom, which is the explore page, and then we'll see photos. So we can 3D touch into a photo or hold down into the photo and that will bring up a larger photo, a more detailed version of this. And then we can also swipe up there to get some more detailed information and dive straight into a deeper item. And then we can swipe down and just let go to release that. And there's actually multiple levels of holding into the screen for 3D touch, which is kind of crazy. But here is one level, like I. I press in to get here, but if I press in even further, it will take me to the full details of the photo with the description, I can like that and comments and all of that. So now I'm going to swipe back. An example of a long press would be to hold down on my user icon on the bottom right. And this is relatively on the same the same level, the same playing field, and that will give me options to switch my account. So I could switch over to other path from there. You can just long press again and switch back. So it's not really diving deeper, it's just switching something. I'm going to go back to the camera. So yes, it is very confusing, but hopefully like when you think about it as layers, that helps a little bit for just like standard apps and standard features. But hopefully this video helps you realize that they are different things and maybe you need to play around with them a little bit to figure out what they do differently and how they act in certain situations. I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I will try and answer them. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you guys next time.